All right, guys, we're back here in Indiana, and this tiny little vehicle here is something brand new to the Storyteller family. And I've got my buddy Tim Morgan here. What's up? And Tim is going to walk me through what the hell is this? Wow, what yeah. is going on, man? It's a toy. It's a little toy. This is but. a toy, huh? So this right here is what we call the Storyteller GXV Epic. Because okay, this is and this one is part vehicle. of the acquisition of... Global Expedition Vehicles, correct? Yes. So this yeah. is a result of that, guys. Look at this freaking exactly. thing. This exactly. This thing is so cool. So what is this? What is it? So this is an Expedition Vehicle. You know, what it was before was a Patagonia Custom, you know, over a million dollar vehicle. Really? We, we took it and turned it into something that is RVA certified is what we called, where you can buy it at a local dealer, finance it for long term, insure it as an RV. It's just a, a better or a lower uh, entry point. Uh, to ownership. Okay, so we this. made this more affordable. We yep. made it able to be purchased at RV dealers. Yep. And this is quite uh, different than what most RVs are all about. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. What, what are we looking at here? What, how big is this tire? Yeah, this is a, uh, I mean, huge Goodyear tires. They're 425, 65, 22 and a half. These are military tires. This so is we a got military, military tires. Why don't you stand next to that so people can yeah. get a sense of scale? How tall are you, Look Tim? Look at this. I'm about 5'11". 5 5'11", 5 5 so. almost six feet tall. Yep. This thing, I mean, the door handle's at your head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you got to climb into the bird's nest to get up there. So, okay. But one cool thing that we're going on here is we got a, a King Air Ride suspension and their air brakes as well. This okay, is so a, we've got the airbags down there. We've got the King struts. Yep. Dude, this is sick. Now, what kind of motor is this? Is this a diesel? It is a diesel. It's a 6, 7 Cummins diesel. It's got an Allison transmission, dual lockers uh, on a Kenworth chassis. So this is yeah. a Kenworth. Wow. Yeah. What kind, do you know the horsepower off the top of your head? Because that's, I mean, uh, we, can, we can note it on the video, but that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're, we're, so, so we've got the, the big old Cummins in there ripping along, so you're not going slow. Right. Uh, I but you're not going fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you're driving a brick, so yeah, something exactly. back here. I think is important is this suitcase. Yeah. Uh, that says diesel fuel only. How it's big is that is. damn tank? So it's got 200 gallons of fuel, which gets you 1,800 mile range. It's insane. 1,800 miles on the brick of doom. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I mean, so there's this tank and then there's one on the opposite side, yeah, correct? Yeah, two 100 gallon tanks. Yep. Two 100 gallon tanks. Yeah. Uh, that appears to be an air brake canister. Yep. Is that air brakes? Okay. It sure is, yeah. What else do we have going on on the outside here? We got a lot going on here. Yeah, we got storage like crazy. Um, you know, that this right here uh, is a cassette door for okay, your, so cassette, your toilet. cassette toilet. Yep. 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 And then just lots of storage. And then there's, uh, you know, with these, you can do, um, other side there, you can do barbecue stuff, like slide out. Uh, things. Sure, a and little then, grill action. Yeah, this will open on the other side, but is a, a full pass through that is just insane. How much is that uh, under the bed inside? Yes, okay, yeah, that is under the bed. And all this is lockable. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so coming around the back, I mean, uh, you guys yeah. may notice a little winch. Yeah. How heavy is this freaking wheel tire combo? It's got to be. Like it's got to be over 400 load. pounds, yeah. You said how much? It's got to be over 400. Okay. I mean, on the, the hill, those are 285 in there. So that's the 285 size. pounds on the hill. This is even bigger. Yeah. Uh, this is absolutely insane, guys. We've got tons of light going on. Big Crazy. old. If you get rear-ended in this, they're not going to touch the vehicle. They're just going <laughs> to. You just go up yeah. under it. <laughs> okay, so there's our, there's the other side of the storage. And this sweet uh, Morad tray with. I mean, this incredible like water system, power system layout. Yep, we got a master volt system at 18,000 watts of power, which is, I mean, absolutely insane. That's you a see, boatload. You know, the quality that we put into this are water lines, so it's easy to fix. Um, you got room, everything's over there. You got your own in Cummins generator here. Oh, look at that, okay. Start. And then you got this that pulls out and I mean, so you could use that as like a diving board or something, right? Exactly. You got your you got your shower head there. You can use it as a as a, a soaker tub. <laughs> I mean, that is that is pretty wild. You can fit all kinds of gear in there if you need to. Obviously, this is like, you know, straight out from me is right about here. I'm six foot tall. We're about yep. the same height here, yep. and this is not low to the ground. You're gonna need a step ladder, boys and girls. Is this the gray tank? Here? Yeah. 
Yep, so you got 40 gallons of, of gray. You said 40? Yep, okay. And 100 of fresh. 100 of fresh, 40 of gray. Is there a black tank on this rig? Nope, it's the cassette. Oh, right, yeah, because we're doing the cassette. That makes a, a ton of sense. Yeah. How, how about insulation? Like, this is not a thin door here. What, what kind of insulation are we talking about with this rig? So on the capsule, um, you know, it's a, a carbon composite Kevlar uh, capsule, and that's got a, a foam insulation that we spray in, and then we shave down and um, make flat. So sort of the living area is dense foam insulation is that correct absolutely so when you're okay. when you're out in the hot desert it's keeping it cold inside when you're up in sub-zero temperatures it's staying warm so i'm just going to back up here guys so you can see again we're using tim for scale yeah i mean this is not a tiny rig this is super cool what is this big box here tim what's that all about this here yeah well, that's a great question i think it's a uh, part of the uh uh the heating and, and uh, the heating system and generator. Oh, okay. okay. And then got your got another battery, battery there. Storage in there. Def tank def is tank. massive. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's just a, a hilarious def tank. That's what we'll call that. <laughs> yeah. How big is it? Hilarious. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then we come around. Look at the size of the filter. Look at that. That's just a filter. That's like a freaking uh, the kind of Nalgene filter. Yeah. Okay. Is this thing open? Can we? We're gonna we're gonna have to get the keys and get inside we're there because I would love to, get to see that. And it's got a pass through on the inside, so it's got a pass through. Yeah, I did absolutely. not know. That. I haven't been inside this yep. because I wanted to see you know get the genuine reaction. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's come around the front. Yes, you got 360 lights all the way around. So when you get out and you're, it's night. You're exploring. You light up the ground around you and the daylight in front of you. So you, I mean, you know where you're going. This are these uh, these look like diode dynamics. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Is that something uh, that's standard to this model, or is that yes. just for this show one? Uh, it's standard for this model. Okay. So we've got all kinds of lights going on. The world's largest bull bar. I mean, yeah. look like. Jeez. Good God. <laughs> uh, how about the winch? Do you know the capacity on that one? I uh, don't. But it's a super winch, so. Okay, uh, super we can winch. Get that in the in the details for sure. I mean. Gigantic. I don't know what. What do you have any idea how much this whole thing weighs? It's got to be about thirty thousand. Thirty thousand pounds. So yeah. that winch at least at has least to so. be able to pull that. Exactly. Which means it's probably like a forty thousand pounder. Okay. Now we could see the insulation. Look how thick that door is. Let's hop up in there. What do you think? Absolutely. Let's All right, do here it. Here we go. After you. Okay. So we transition into the apartment. Yeah. Holy crap, it's big in here. It's huge. You got rugged, you know, okay. apocalypse okay. outside, and this. then you got nice luxury. So we got the pass through he's talking about. Then we've got like a freaking full dinette. You know, I could sit down here and we can hang out, and there's yep. plenty of space. Yep. And then Bro. we can shift this if we want to. Oh, look at that. So you could have somebody come through there if they yep. need to, get your gear, because there's all kinds of storage in here too. This is freaking cool, man. This is crazy. This is cool. Okay, so we got this uh, dinette area. Then talk to me about the rest of this interior. It looks super nice. Yeah, so we got hard surface countertop. I mean, more storage than you could probably fill this thing in. I mean, this is bigger than some New York City apartments do. Oh, absolutely it is. And I got a couple cool features that uh, are very similar to that. But Okay. We got uh, aluminum backsplash with the world map. It's just aesthetics of, of you know traveling and where you're, you're going to be out dual pane glass windows and these are the uh, bug screen and blackout with a uh, very strong magnet there it is okay so we got a very strong magnet on that so you can black this whole thing out yeah when you're out you know trying to sleep in you know if, for example if you go to the arctic when it's all day right light yeah. or, that's an issue exactly uh, i had a friend go up in alaska and his and his uh vehicle just a little bit ago, it was light the whole day. They had to black everything out. This just, it's already there, ready to go. Okay, so, so we've got that same style of window here, mm -hmm. and they are awning style windows, is that correct? Yes, yep, they're awning style glass windows. And, and it's actual glass? Yes. Dude, look at that. So you can get the circulation, we've got the fan up here, you know, drawing clean, cool air in. Yep. This is pretty slick. And then what's, what's this is our control box Yes, yeah, our, our power control box. Um, so. 
you can do you know all your lighting there you got water pump aqua hot awning i did uh, see that aqua hot. that's nice yeah and then it tells you your outputs and where your State tanks charge, are charge so. tank levels that's pretty sweet. sweet what's this smaller screen does that come on no. we are in show mode so that may yes. they may be shut off so yeah. forgive that okay so coming around here there's a freaking there's another awning window hiding behind mm -hmm. me i didn't yeah. know then we have a tv with a sound bar soda sound bar this is all this included is, yep this is Goodness. all standard all right and then so we got the uh contour this is a microwave convection and air fryer so it's pretty yeah. cool it's triple and then we got these high-end stainless appliances full freezer full fridge and these are not small like no and that the was it vitra Frig, frigo I, I, yeah i think that's how it's pronounced that's yeah. really nice stuff yeah yeah I and that's a whole huge thing man yeah. like okay keep keep talking to me man i'm, yeah. I'm excited about yeah. this right behind you that also will turn into a bed just that we didn't point okay out so button. we can we can turn this that table will drop down we can turn this into a bed and sleep maybe two people two adults i mean Yep. Across, I don't know how wide this is, but it's easily eight, nine feet, yep. which is crazy. Okay. Yep. And so AC, all your, you know, comforts that you need. Um, huge closet here. Okay. Big old closet. And then got this cool little feature right here called a combo what? washer dryer. Say what? So it does mimic your... <laughs> your new, your yeah, new york is apartment a new york, you're, we're, we're in a mobile apartment exactly this is wild queen bed uh, storage power on the side we have another control panel over here so you don't have to get out and do it there skylight that opens up so you stargaze and all that fantastic all right, let me stuff. peek back there and see that storage so we've got all kinds of storage there and over here with that control panel like you said this this is wild so yeah. Three windows back yeah. there, yep. including the ceiling. Exactly. Uh, this is like this sort of like slick sided pod here. Yeah. It's like, is that the bathroom? This is the bathroom. And it's pretty impressive for uh, for a bathroom, a wet bath in an RV. So okay. I'll I'm excited let you about this. Come in and show you. Bro, you're killing me right now with the wood. Teak floor. <laughs> look at this. And the skylight in there with a, with a little window. Look, look, a little window. And. So this is a wet bath, mm -hmm. but this is like the nicest wet bath I've ever seen Same. in this style of video, uh, exactly. uh, vehicle. Yep. Because normally it's just like it's you just, shove all kinds of crap right on top of one yep, another. Yep, it's just all white like this, so it's yeah. easy clean and all that. But this Look is, at this. this got some nice. stainless up top. Dispensers, if you're that kind of person. You know, you want to keep all your goo in there. A little sink action. Storage. Nobody has storage in the damn bathroom. Nope, not at all. And then you've Drain got pan. the pod door yeah. for your little that's mini even, panic room. You know, pretty thick and high quality. That's also, seal. yeah, that's nice insulation. So you oh. keep the heat in there. Exactly. Hell yeah. And what's, what's is this just like the, the fan? Uh, it's a macerator pump. Well, macerator actually, no, I think pump. it's just the light. Okay. Yeah, it's just the light. Okay, so this is the light. Nice light. Like uh, This is still a, a relatively new video uh, vehicle to these guys, so we're still... You know, some of the things we're making sure we got it lined up correct in our brain. Yeah. This is freaking cool. Okay. On the kitchen side, mm -hmm. we didn't necessarily talk about what we got going here. We got a little yeah. cutting board. Yep. A huge board, sink. Huge sink. Dual induction cooktop. I mean, look, look. There's my meaty paw. <laughs> like, bro, this is big. And then we got the two uh, induction. Lots of prep surface. Tons of storage. You got your trash there. Boys and girls, this is freaking cool. Where are you hiding? So the power is underneath the bed in yep. the back. Yep. Is there a way to access it from inside or do you have to go around the outside? Uh, you have to go around the outside. Okay, okay. Yep. I'm just trying to make sure I understand. You can get, one second. Access to it here, but you can't, it's not really climbable. Right, uh, so you, yeah, you don't necessarily have access to the whole compartment. You've got access right. to that little panel back there if you need yep. to swap a fuse or just exactly. inspect or whatever the hell you're doing. So then, drop a tool down there. We've <laughs> got this this insane apocalyptic vehicle. Yeah. We got this sort of uh, vinyl-y, I don't know what to, this material is like fiberglass, high polish, whatever yeah. on the ceiling, easy to clean. You know, the thing that stands out to me about this is. 
this is kind of ready for anything. Is yeah. that correct? Absolutely. I mean, it's ready for anything. It is capable of going anywhere and disappearing, you know, for however long you need to. You want to take a trip to Alaska, the transcontinental highway, you're going to have no problem. You're going to be comfortable. You'll have enough power with 18 watt, 18,000 watts. You got 1,930 watts of solar and you have a oh, generator. So there's solar on the roof too. I didn't yep. even think to ask that. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, this is something you can full time in or you can, you know, go for on a, a month trip or you can take for, you know, a weekend. You know, we've done that with this, with testing and, and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, and you just so. uh, did a long trip in one of the other GXV vehicles. Yeah. What's it like, man? You you, you had a lot of seat time. Yeah. It's, How it's, was it? It's super fun, to be honest with you. It They drive super nice. Um, you know, they're capable of a lot and you can get out and go. But if you're just, you know, getting from A to B, they're fun to drive. You stop and people are like, what is going on? And they just, they want to know everything about it. You get to mingle with a lot of people and they're comfortable. So Yeah. This is freaking cool. We're going to hop in the front in a second here. This yeah. is pretty wild. You are going to have to tell me the question that everyone yeah. at home is begging right yes. now. How much is this? Millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> this will uh, be available um, in 2025 uh, at right around 800000 Right around eight hundred k. Now, what what kind of vehicles in the quote unquote RV market are typically eight hundred k? Like, what does this right. compare to? Yeah, so this is like the first ever of its kind. But yes, you would you would you know a Newell, um, you know some of the top Tiffin buses, uh, Allegro buses. They're they're reaching you know between six hundred and you know two point two million. So you're you know we're in that in that class, but we're sure. just completely different because those you got to park on the at a at an RV park or you know on a, on the street and you're done exploring there unless you bring a second vehicle where this you're getting out we've had it in the top of 13,000 feet in Colorado really? out in Flagstaff running over trees <laughs> so we've done this some is, cool shit this is on another level and i mean I, you know when i when i think of those RV park type vehicles yep. i think stagnant yes, i think exactly. kind of boring yep so if you want to get a, a couple extra punches on your man card maybe you, you snag something like this, right? Like yeah, exactly. maybe you do that. Tim, mm -hmm. thank you so much for the walkthrough on this. Absolutely. This is freaking crazy. Guys, if you got any questions, slam them down in the comments. We'll see you soon. All right, let's see it. Climb up. This is like not a, a small, ladder. This is not a small climb. No, this not is, at all. There's like a technique to it, right? Yep, and there's even a, a, a more of a technique getting out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the, I assume this is a backup camera. Yep, it is. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is more like a cockpit yeah. than a standard tradition. Like everybody's exactly. used to the Sprinter vans, exactly, especially yeah. from the you truck. guys. Yep. There is, is this an infotainment system here? Is that what this is? I mean, that's not really the, the purpose of this. Right, no, so actually... Um, this is a, the first production demo that we have. So what we're going to be doing actually is changing this dash. There's going to be a big touch screen. Oh, um, cool. Okay. Console here. Uh, we're going to change the color of the interior. Probably going to be black. These are air ride seats. We'll keep that, but we're going to use a different brand of seats that are a lot more comfortable. Sure. Even though these aren't bad. This at all. is very industrial. Yeah. Like what we're sitting in is very industrial, especially this. And I mean, look, guys, there are spaces here. You know, if we put a, a big old screen here, this whole thing could come out. I'm sure you guys have about eight million ideas on how to make this as cool as possible. Absolutely. We're and put we've got all this going on up here what is that above you is that like a cd player what is that <laughs> yeah eight track no i'm kidding <laughs> we got more spots for lights just anything to customize so do you put your uh, like a cb your ham radio yep. yeah yep and then we're gonna put a, a nice super kicking stereo in here that's gonna thump and match you know everything that's that's that you see this is freaking rad you guys can see there's the whole inside from back here Tim, you guys uh, might have a home run on your hands. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this is I mean, this is pretty epic. Yeah, it really is. Like, <laughs> it is. you know, when when I saw the name was the epic, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, here we go. You yeah. know, let's let's see what this is all about. Yeah. This is actually pretty epic. I yeah. like it. I do.